Super glad to have rough stuff out here. We uh, had a little incident. Our One of our trucks got totaled on the way down here, so our generator took a flight down the highway along with our welder. So it's nice to know that we're going to have rough stuff out here to help us out to finish the rig. We had to uh, move some seatbelt brackets and, well, finish a few things on the rig. And uh, it's nice to know that rough stuff's going to be out here when we need them. Uh, so thank you, Dan. We appreciate what you do and everything. Uh, it's just awesome to see this lake bed and what happens out here and we've been coming out here for a few years now and just seeing the growth over the last couple of years what it's turned into and you know we got nearly 50,000 people out here and we'll have probably close to 100,000 people come Friday and it's uh, awesome that we know if we break our stuff or if we need to make changes for tech or whatever we need to do if we don't have what we need rough stuff is going to be here for us so awesome. And do you have any uh, gnarly tales like you know where you escaped death or anything like that? <laughs> Uh, well, we almost rolled the rig a few days ago. We were going through some whoops and uh, came off camber on one, came down on the front passenger tire and corrected that one. Uh, but I think the uh, the biggest story of our trip is going to be my co-driver on I-15 got rear-ended by some kid doing about 100 miles an hour and totaled his truck. So we're, we're definitely glad he's safe, and I'd say that that's probably the biggest story of the trip right now. What about in general? There must be some hairy stuff that happens. Uh, the worst thing that ever happened to me, uh, about two years ago at a different rig, uh, I was out doing some testing and wasn't wearing a helmet at the time and rolled it. And I actually shattered the whole back side of my skull. This is all titanium plate now. And uh, that accident was not very fun. So I am a big advocate of making sure if people are in their rigs, we see them belted in and helmets on.